everyone, welcome back to new content of Cybrosis. In today's video, we will discuss about the user types and access rights in Odoo 18 accounting. Access rights in Odoo 18 accounting refers to the permission assigned to the individual users or group of users determining what they can see, edit and create within the accounting module. This granular control ensures data security and operational efficiency. Odoo 18 recognizes three primary user types, that is the internal user, Path user and public user. To manage with the users, you can just head into the general settings of Odoo where you can find the users to manage. So let's move up to the manage users and I would like to choose Michelle Admin over here. So as you just move on to the users, you can see that there are different user types that is the internal user, path user, and public users. The internal users are the employees within the organizations who have the access to the Odoo system. And the portal users are the external users. They can be the customers or the partners who can access to a specific portal to view and interact with certain documents related to their business dealings. And the other user is a public user. Users who can access public content or certain functionalities without logging in. So, as you just move on to the internal users, we know they are the employees within the organization. So here you can see I'm setting Michelle Admin as the uh, access right of administrator. So administrator is the user in the Apex level. So he will be having all the rights to manage with the accounting module. So in Odoo 18, uh, we don't have the consultation module and we don't have the consultation user. So if we want to manage uh, all the other things in Odoo or the user in the apex level will be always the administrator but as you have a comparison with odoo 17 we have a user called administrator as well as consultation user but when you just come to the odoo 18 you can only find the user in the apex level as the administrator now let's move on to the accounting module so as you just move on to the accounting module the administrator can view the dashboard which means we can find the customer invoices the vendors, the bank the miscellaneous operations cash journals we can say that these are the journals that is created and we can also get all the analysis of the customer invoices vendors, and all other journal details from this dashboard and you can also just move on to the um customers over here which means the administrator can manage the customers by, I mean using the invoices by creating the credit note payments batch payments products and customers as well as the administrator can also manage with the vendor bills refunds payments batch payments products and vendors as the administrator moves the accounting tab here the administrator can manage the journal entries journal item transfers analytic item and let it budget as its loan reconciliation and everything can be managed from here. So um, he can also manage with all the uh, corner of the reporting. So here we have the statement reports such as balance sheet, profit and all other things as well as we can also find the audit reports, partner reports and uh, managing the invoice analysis, the deferred expenses, deferred revenues and all the uh, management related reporting can be also managed by the accountant. Apart from that, the administrator will have the power to manage with the configuration uh, menu as well as the configuration settings. So the configuration settings will let you to enable certain features upon the localization and you can set all the things upon your business. So you can find different features over here. So if you want to manage with certain functionalities or features, the administrator can just manage it from the configuration settings. Now let's move on to the other user. Now the second access right is the invoicing. So Odoo 18 offers the granular control over the access right that loving you to precisely define who can perform which actions with the invoicing module. So this ensures the data security and operational efficiency. And here are some primary, I mean primary access rights related to the invoicing in Odoo 18. So uh, here you can see that we have set the accessing, I mean access rights as invoicing over here. For the user Willie book. So, he is an internal user because he is an employee from the company side process. 
now we can just copy this user and uh, we just need to log in as this user so for that first we have to log out from the administrator and we can just log in as the user so for that you can provide the password over here I'm letting the password and let me click on login so that we can just get into this. So this would allow you to manage with reading of the invoices then uh, which means that you can just view the invoices, create credit note and other related documents. So as you just move on to the uh, invoicing as the access right here Willie can just manage with the invoices, credit note, payments, products and customers. As well as he can also manage with the bills, refunds, payments, products, vendors. And he can only manage the invoice analysis. And he can also just have a look into the pivot view also. But as you just go back into the uh, home screen of the Odoo system, here you can see that he won't be able to manage with uh, the general settings of Odoo. Uh, and now let's log out from VC user and login as the other user invoicing and bank access rights in Uhuru 18 allowing you to precisely define who can perform specific actions related to the invoicing and bank operations and this also ensures data security and maintenance operations so invoicing access rights allow you to create invoices this means that this uh, right allows users to generate new invoices for the customers or vendor so we can just consider the user type as Intel user and uh, here we just need to set the uh, access right as invoicing and uh, uh, banks. Afterwards, we can just copy the email address of the user and we just need to log in as the user garden. So let's log out from the Michel admin and here we just gonna log in as the other user. So let's log in and here we can find the changes. So here you can see the audio system. This uh, user cannot manage any um, general settings or any other features in the general settings uh, of Odoo. And now let's move on to the accounting module. So as you just move on to the accounting module, this user can just manage with invoicing and bank access. So the user will have the right uh, to generate new invoices for the customers of winter. So you can see uh, we have the new button over here uh, and uh, uh, here you can see we cannot just create a new winter bill directly but instead of that we can just manage uh, it from here. Now let's move on to the dashboard itself and the user uh, have the right to uh, enable and approve uh, and confirm the invoices making them uh, as the official document. The user will have the right to cancel the invoices uh, or uh, um, to this also allow you to check the invoices are incorrect or not and uh, this also uh, grants the access to view existing invoices their details their payments and everything and uh, you can see everything over here so as we just move on to the invoices you can see certain invoices are in track state the other run in in payment state and not paid state and all so if the user want to cancel that he can easily cancel uh, the um, yeah uh, invoices by setting it to uh, reset to draft and on and if he wish to cancel that he can uh, cancel uh, it from uh, the invoices and the other right is the bank access right which means that uh, this right enables users to create and edit uh, as well as delete the bank account and uh, we can also reconcile the bank statements this means that this right, right will allow the users to match uh, the transactions with journal entries and uh, this uh, right permits users to initiate payments from the bank account also now let me just uh, create a new uh, entry over here so i'm going to choose the customer over here as deco edict and uh, let me choose a product so let's say the product is customizable desk and uh, afterwards we can just confirm this and uh, let's uh, click on pay in order to make the payment so after reconciliation only we know the payment will be moving to the bank so here you can see the amount as well as we also just need to know uh, the customer reference number so let me create um, the payment and after reconciliation the payment will be moving to the bank 
Now let me consider the customer invoice number and as well as we just need to know the amount. As we know the user has uh, the banking access right, the user can easily manage the uh, banking from uh, the dashboard of Odoo. So under the bank here you can see that we can just create a statement uh, over here. So I'm going to choose a partner, the partner is uh, Deco edict and here we can provide the amount which is 750 and we can also provide the uh, memo uh, memo is the reference number of uh, the um, yeah invoice num i mean invoice and you can just click on uh, add and close so here you can see that this statement is added and you can find uh, the uh, pay payment over here so you can select the statement against the payment in order to uh, do the validations so once uh, it's done, uh, you can see it will be moving to the uh, paid state. Now let's move on to the invoices and you can see after reconciliation, the payment will be moving to the bank and it is marked as in paid state. So that is one of the access rights that we can find in Odoo. That is the invoicing and bank access right. Read-only access right in Odoo 18 allows users to view and inspect records without making any modifications. So this level of access in particular is useful for the auditors to review historical data and transactions and managers to monitor team performances without interfering their work and the stakeholders uh, to gain insight into the business operations without editing capabilities. Now let's log in as the user. So uh, in order to set the accounting access right as read only, ensure that you have properly assigned the user type over here. So once everything is set, you can just log out train the administrator and log in as the user. So let me choose a user over here and uh, let's provide the password. So once you just set the password and log in as a user, the first thing we can notice is that we cannot manage, which means the read-only access right cannot manage with the general settings of Odoo 18. Um, and uh, as the user moves to the accounting module here, you can see the user can only manage with the uploading uh, of the customer invoices, vendor bills and all. He cannot make any further edits or anything. Instead of that, he can just view the customer invoices, the vendor bills and all other payments uh, related to the customers and vendors from here and uh, the user can also view the journal entries, uh, the journal items and uh, the analytic items as well as the user can also manage with the reporting such as a statement report, audit reports, partner reports uh, and other management. So as you just move on to the uh, reports here, the user can just manage uh, which means the user will only have the access to read it from the other platform. Now we have one more access right that is uh, the bookkeeper. So bookkeeper is uh, mainly uh, manage the double entry accounting which means that it I mean they ensures accurate financial recording by automatically generating the journal entries for various transactions including sales, purchase, expenses and bank reconciliation. So here you can see that we have uh, set the demo as the internal user and uh, um, by setting the access right as bookkeeper. So once everything is set, you can just uh, log out from the Visual Admin and we just need to uh, um, yeah, log in as the bookkeeper. So I'm going to uh, give the password of the user over here. And once everything is set here, you can see that the bookkeeper will not be having a access right of managing the general settings of Odoo platform. Now let's dive into the accounting module and as we just move on to the accounting module here, we can see that the user can just manage with the customer invoices, the bank uh, transactions um, and other journals from the dashboards. And uh, here you can see he can manage the customer tab, which means the creation of the invoices, credit note payments and all other features that are available under the customers and vendors can be managed by the bookkeeper and he can also manage with the accounting such as the journal entries, journal items, transfers um, and all other things related to the analytic items and the uh, settings and he can also manage with the reporting but he cannot manage uh, with the uh, configuration and uh, uh, the other uh, settings in the Odoo and uh, as you just move on to the reporting here you can see that uh, he cannot manage the charts of accounts the creation or the customization of the charts of accounts is not possible but he can easily reconcile these statements with your account records by importing and uh, 
uh, the bank statements or or by manually entering the transactions. So that's how we just manage with the internal users. And in Odoo 18, we have the uh, internal users uh, with five type that is the account account accountant, then bookkeeper, invoicing, uh, and bank as well as read only. Uh, and uh, now let's uh, move on to the other user type. So we have to just log out from uh, the user and we just need to log in as the other user that is the portal user who will be having the right of a customer or a partner. Portal users in Odoo provides a secure and convenient way for your customers and partners to access the specific information and performing certain actions related to their accounts. So in this case, we can only manage the user type as a portal and we cannot manage uh, the access rights of a portal users. So the customers and suppliers can view and download their invoices, then make online payments as well as they can track the payment histories as well as they can access the account statements. Now let's log out from the administrator and log in as the portal user. So let's move on to the use other user. So let me uh, just log in as a portal user so you can provide uh, the username and password of the portal user. So here you can see uh, we can easily find the address of the supplier or the customer. And uh, here we can also find the quotations, uh, the orders, the subscriptions, the connections and security, the invoices related to the partner or customer over here. And as we just move on to uh, the quotations here, we can uh, see we can just make the payments and if we want to reject that, we can also do that. And if we just attach any files over here, we can easily download that attached files. And if you want to view the details, we can also view the details from uh, this section. So if we want to download all the uh, things from here, we can easily download uh, and save the PDF. And here you can see we have successfully downloaded and saved the invoices of the partner or uh, it can be the customer or a supplier. So that's how we just deal with the accounting access rights in Odoo 18. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.